Tom DeLay is the former Republican House Majority Leader from 2003 until 2005. This dude is corrupt as it gets, which I'll talk about in a second. But first, listen to him uh, talk with Pastor John Hagee and note all of the absurdities he spews. Tom DeLay was found not guilty of all charges. He's been totally exonerated. He is innocent. America, I present to you a brother in Christ who has been tried by fire, who is victorious over the world, the flesh, and the devil. Give this man a warm hand of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. I'm spending a lot of my time, and I spent a lot of my career trying to talk pastors and churches into getting involved in the fight. Because, as you say, the way I see it is Jesus died for our freedom. And Jesus destroyed Satan so that we could be free. Yes. And, and that was manifested in what is called the Constitution of the United States. Yes. God created this nation and God created the Constitution. It is written on biblical principles. And the Lord presented me with people around me. And I'll make a long story short, but that weekend, he just inundated me with information. Just like if I plugged my head into the computer and unloaded the computer into my head, and it just shook me. At the, I got on the plane, and I pulled out my devotional. I read Upmost, Upmost for His Highest and Jesus Calling every day. And in that was him saying, I, in my, that devotion on August the, the 4th was him saying, I am calling you. I'm calling you out of the wilderness. And it's in there. And then the Jesus calling was the most the same thing. I just started calming down. And I spent four hours on that plane coming home on a conference call with the Lord. And he told me two things. He told me, you're going to write a book. You're coming out of the wilderness. You're going to write a book. It's going to be called Shut It Down about constitutional revival. And the second thing was, I've heard my people. Second Chronicles 7, 14. My awakening is beginning, and you're going to be part of it. And that, I can't tell you how that over, overwhelmed me in such a way that I've, he's cho chosen somebody that's totally uh, uh, not worthy of his Ch ch uh, uh, of his call. Yeah, uh, I find this endlessly fascinating because this is another example of I, I can't figure it out. Is uh, Tom DeLay faking it and lying to all those people and he knows that it's not true that God spoke to him and he's just telling all these people, yeah, God spoke to me. <laughs> so is he doing that? Is he lying? Or does he actually believe it? Is he drinking his own Kool-Aid? Because I don't know if you could tell, he was uh, about to cry at the end there. Like, he was tearing up and talking about, God reached out to me, God was talking to me, he told me he has a plan, this and that. So I don't know what it is. Either the guy's a Looney Tune, or the guy is a liar. And by the way, if he's a, a Looney Tune, that's really scary, man. Because as many smart people have said over the years, I forget who originally said it, if you talk to God, that's praying. If God talks to you, that's schizophrenia. And if he actually thinks he heard God, he should look into Thorazine and a straitjacket. I hear Bellevue is taking people. He should really, really consider that. So this is a fascinating case study. I mean, all people like Tom DeLay, this guy should be studied by psychologists to figure out what the fuck is going on in his twisted backwards mind. But now let's get to some other points here, because. Uh, when I said this guy's corrupt, it's amazing to me, he sits on the stage, he's talking about God and he has a plan for me and this and that. This dude is literally one of the most corrupt people in the country. Now, he did very close uh, dealings and workings with Jack Abramoff. Remember Jack Abramoff? He's the lobbyist who's reformed and he came out and told his entire story about how Congress works and about how uh, all the corporations buy the politicians to do what they want and they're openly corrupt. And this guy accepted trips to Scotland from Jack Abramoff, money, et cetera, et cetera. This guy, Tom DeLay, he took a million dollars from Russian billionaires and oil companies. Um, he took a million dollar check, and what that was for is they bought his vote on an IMF vote 
International Monetary Fund, uh, for a bailout of Russia. So they paid him a million dollars so he could vote in favor of a bailout to Russia. This guy is as corrupt as it gets. And then he had the, the nerve to say at the time, oh no, that didn't affect my vote at all. You took a million dollars, it didn't affect your vote at all? How stupid do you think we are? Or how stupid are you? Oh, that's so, oh, it hurts to even wrap your mind around that. And then also, just to go back to the religious stuff for a second, he says, oh, God created America and God created the Constitution. How do you respond to somebody who's that naive and that silly? Like, what do you say to somebody like that to get it through their head that they're wrong? Is there any way to convince them that they're wrong? Because obviously they're not into rational argument and into logic because there's no reason to say those things. So God created uh, the U.S. Did he create Belize? Did he create Zimbabwe? Or did he only create the U.S.? Are we that special? Weird. The country that Tom DeLay lives in happens to be the really special country. It's not that he's narcissistic and he's selfish and he thinks, well, of course my country is great. No, it's that God really does care about Tom DeLay's fucking country. And then uh, the, uh, God writing the Constitution. Look, you know how many times God is mentioned in the Constitution? Zero. Jesus? Zero. The Bible? Zero. Religion? Once. And they mention it to say, we are not establishing one. That's the point of the Establishment Clause. The government needs to remain neutral on the issue of religion. So it is explicitly not a religious country. It's the first country in the world founded on secular principles. But these guys flip the truth on its head. And then um, I, my favorite part of all, I was on a conference call with the Lord. Yet again, how do you respond to that? I was on a conference call with the, the Lord. Because, you know, if there's anything God needs, it's a phone. He's God. He can't just talk directly into, you know, delay his head and just transmit it that way. No, no. He's like, dude, you got your iPhone with you? You know, I, I, I got this damn uh, Galaxy over here. It's acting up a little bit. But anyway, what's your number? No, no. What's the area code, dude? I know the number. What's the area code? I got to type this in. Come on. We got to talk. I got to tell you about how my plans are for you because you're so special.